Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to add a mono price, no logo door and window sensor to Home Assistant and to create a custom sensor. So first, you should go into your developer tools, click on add node secure. In this case, it is secure because it does say Z-Wave Plus. If your sensor only says Z-Wave, you're going to call Z-Wave add node. Once you've done that, you'll see a couple of different sensors on your desktop. You'll see access control, alarm level, alarm type, burglar sensor, and source node ID. The ones we are concerned with, actually, we're going to start with one. The one we're concerned with is this one here, the access control. If you click on that, you'll notice that it reports two different states. One, when the door is closed, it reports 23. When the door is open, it reports 22. 23, 22. So I'm going to close the door and I'm going to change this name. We're going to call this the South Door Access Control. The reason I didn't just call it South Door Sensor is because there's several different sensors on this, including the burglar sensor. And with the entity ID, I'm actually going to keep parity there. I'm going to change this whole thing to sensor.south door access control. Click save. And now you'll see South Door Access Control. South Door Access Control will report 22 and 23. 22, 23. Awesome. Now, if you go back over to your entities, you should be able to search for South Door. Sensor is called Sensor. Dot, in my case, sensor dot south door access control. Open it, it's 22. Close it, it's 23. Now what you're going to do is you're going to head over into your YAML file. Here's my YAML file. Scroll to the part where you have your, te your template sensors. If you don't have template sensors, it's just under the sensor heading, and then the platform is template. In this case, I'm going to make a new sensor. You'll see I've already got quite a few here. I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to call it South Door Status. I'm going to give it a friendly name called South Door so that when it pulls into Home Assistant and HA Dashboard, that's what will show. The value for this sensor is going to come from a template. And then we need to tell it what are we looking for in order to report back our state. So we're going to say if is state and then the name of the sensor. In this case, it's going to be sensor.south or access control. And if it reports a 23, I'm going to close all your brackets there. Since it reports a 23, I want south door status to say closed. We're going to do the same thing here. Or if, rather, an elif is state, and then again, sensor.south door access control 22, close, and close. Then I want it to report as open. I also recommend, you don't have to do this, this is just how I do it. You include an else in here, meaning if it's not reporting 23 and it's not reporting 22, I want to report a status of unknown. That way, when it's pulling into things like Home Assistant and in Dashboard, you're going to have this unknown. You can have like an error or a specific error code in there if you want. I just like unknown, just keep it nice and simple. Then at the end, 
and I say that is the end of our if statement. Control X, save your YAML, and then restart. Your home assistant. You can also do this from within home assistant. I just happen to get into the habit of doing it via command line. And we're going to wait for home assistant to come back up. And it might take a while. But when we do, we're going to have a new sensor. There we go. Now we have South Door is a new sensor. And if I take the mono price sensor and I open it, it reports as open. If I close it, it reports as closed. Where this is particularly useful is again, if you're using HA dashboard, I'm gonna show you that right now. So let's go to going to go in here to my HA dashboard status and I'm going to put in sensor south door status. What's nice about HA dashboard is you don't have to restart it every time. We're going to close and I'm going to pull it up over here. There we go. So I can show you here. Now I have south door open, closed. That's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.